Soap, Skin, and Bubble. The first thing I'm gonna do is select the three edges. So I'm using my three swooping lines this time, and I'm gonna hit Skin. What that's gonna do is gonna create a shape that is connected to this exact, uh, the, my exact edges. Uh, it's gonna ask me for divisions. I'm gonna say, let's, let's double that. Let's go to 20 and hit Enter. All right, that looks good. Uh, when I click, it is going to, uh, or I'm sorry, I hit enter, it's gonna connect that up. And you see already, I'm getting a better solution than what I had with Sandbox Tools, that's great. You can see it's kind of bubbling up a little bit, right? See how that's kind of, but this might be actually how my tension works on this. I don't, I'm not really an expert in tensile structures, but what I can do is I can come in here and I can set uh, a pressure. So I can say something like, I wanna see a pressure, a positive pressure of 20 and hit enter and see how that, push down a little bit more. Let's 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 go bigger. Let's go like 100 and hit enter. Okay, there I can see see how that's pushing way down. That's pretty cool. And I can do this opposite too, so I can put minus 100, hit enter, and it'll be as if it's blowing up from below. So, I think with this something like a 20 that looks pretty good. Maybe 30 just to see a little bit more, push down a little bit more, but there you go. So that's a great way to get uh, a tensile structure in there. Uh, soap skin and bubble a free extension and it despite what it says on, on extension warehouse It does work perfectly well with the newest versions of SketchUp